Packers. And this, and right now we haven't stopped Egan in the last two drives. Sorry to interrupt you. Weiberg back in for the Lightning. They'll hand it off straight ahead. That's a first down and more. Just at 30, 25, 20. Can he go to the distance? He's going to go all the way. 40. Nine yards score. Jerstad. 49 yards, touchdown. Oh, and an excellent job by Jerstad staying with that, staying with that and pushing and working hard the whole time. He's going to have about four or five opportunities here to, to get tackled, and he's going to avoid each one of them. Egan completely, I, you know, I, you know, you got it. You know, we've called people out by do, saying they've done a good job of keeping outside containment. That time, our, our responsibilities completely fell apart, and he was able to weave in and out and just and just move people around. And he's going to go for two to make this a one-score game. So number eight goes 49 yards. So I think he had one carry in the first half. Looks like they were trying to go with that power football, apparently, where the lightning. Well, this has got to be going to Morton, doesn't it? Or does Weiberg roll out? No, you're right. Morton, he'll bounce to the outside. Morton will get in. Yes, he will. Boy, I know it was McClellan that got stood up once again that time by the Wildcats. I don't understand, Mike. They they had Morton's momentum stopped in the backfield because the, because they'd blown up that hole, and then he just bounces to the outside. Watch him, watch him. Morton stops right here, but somehow we lose out, outside containment, and I, I just I don't understand that one at all. And Gugino tried to help out at the end after he got past Stoll, and McClellan unfortunately on the receiving end of a big hit by a running back. And we're suddenly back into a one-score football game. There's the Eastview Lightning. That is a 